YouTube channel if you are new here then I'm so happy to meet you so I'm gonna do part three of my memory can't get my words out again today so after that I'm gonna do part three of the memory book so before I start I just want to say sorry that there wasn't an upload on Sunday Um, as you all might know or might not know I've been uh, poorly with a really bad cold. Uh, I have and Ardre has as well. Ardre's got ovaries and I'm just getting over the stuffy nose. So hopefully in a few days it will all be gone. <laughs> so I'm just about to pick up where we left off on part two. So, I had a growth scan later that day on Wednesday the 11th of September 2019. You were head down. The placenta flow was back to normal and everything was perfect with you. Was so glad to hear. And they told me what you were weighing this time too. You are weighing £3.5. Nanny and your cousin Armani came this time to see you. Saw the doctor afterwards. They, they were a little concerned as you was touching the bottom line of your growth chart. So I've got to have another scan in two weeks. I hope you will have gone up the chart and not off the chart. So... Being worried about this, but fingers crossed. Nanny brought these crib bumpers when I was about five to six months pregnant with you. But the midwives are now saying they're not safe. And the only thing that's allowed nowadays is a tight fitted sheet. That an empty cot is a safe cot. Lisa Brown, Daz, Chloe, Daz, Archie and Jess brought me this at the baby shower. I use it every day and now I love it. Started washing all your baby clothes back in August. Washed all the baby shower stuff. On 12th of September 2019. Mad, ain't he? <laughs> I need to sort them all out, out in different sizes and sort our hospital bags out too. I love you so much. Mummy's bump at 30 weeks. I feel like the weeks were going so fast at first, but seems to have slowed right down now. 16th of September 2019. Just feels like I've been pregnant forever now. Can't wait for you to come. I had my flu jab on the 18th of September 2019, really stung, but then went itchy and went better after a few days. Saw the midwife on 19th of September 2019, listened to your heartbeat, my favourite sound. 
She looked through my maternity book and saw the chart, the graph chart, where you're touching the bottom line. She said not to worry about it and to wait and see what my next graph scan is saying. But if you come off the, the line and then I might need to have you early. So I've been worried about it. Fingers and toes crossed you go back up the chart I don't, and don't come off it. Your very first personalised present from your big cousin Armani. Was also a baby shower present given to me on the 7th of September 2019. From your big cousin Armani and you and Janet. I'm going to book your newborn photos when you arrive so you can have professional photos with this set. Went for a, a graph scan on the 25th of September 2019. They said you had put one point two pounds on in two weeks, and I'd have caught up with your, with what, your spouse to be now. You're weighing four seven four pounds seven. Was so surprised when she told me, but I'm so pleased. Saw the doctor after. After. The scan. Sorry. <laughs> I can't understand my own writing sometimes. Anyway, let's carry on. I had been getting a weird pain in my sides of my belly that felt like someone was squashing my belly. And when I walked, felt like the pain was going round into my hips and back and felt heavy at the bottom of my belly. So I was a bit worried and mentioned it to the doctor. You also turned and gone back breach, so I've been a little worried. I hope when you turn back to head down in time for you to be born. Doctor said you have until I'm um, 37 weeks to turn, and if you don't, they're going to try to turn you. So I'm hoping you turn yourself, fingers crossed, and toes, and everything crossed that you do. Then about the pain I was getting in my belly, hips and back, sounds like Braxton Hicks. But doctor sent me to triage to make sure my waters hadn't broken, that I wasn't in slow labour. They monitored you, listened to your heartbeat. For about 30 to 45 minutes, you were fine. You had the hiccups and could hear them on the monitor and Nanny could see my belly flickering. We were there for hours. Nanny was getting really frustrated as we felt forgotten about and just left. Thirtieth of September, twenty nineteen. Thirty three weeks and six days. Feeling massive now. I only have to stand for a while and then back out kicks in. But it will all be worth it in the end. Fridge man nicked from the baby shower on the seventh of September, twenty nineteen. We can't wait to meet you. So much love already. Went for my 4D scan on the 29th of September 2019. Your cousin Sophie came. We went to... Can't say the name. The appointment was at 5.15...
We waited a while, but when we first went into the room, you had your back to the to the scan scanner, but then you turned round a little, but your face was behind your hip, my hip bone. The lady who worked there said to go for a little bit of a walk and do some knee highs and maybe get a fizzy drink. I had no money on me, so your cousin Sophie brought us a bottle of Fanta to share from the shop opposite. As was walking to and from the shop, I was doing knee highs and squats on her. When I got back to the clinic, I was just walking around a bit and doing some hip twirls. When I went back in the scanner room, you hadn't really turned or moved much, so I couldn't only get two or three photos of you. It was amazing, though, saw you sucking your f fists and feet, and uh, eventually you turned your back to the scanner. So the lady who worked there said it was best to rebook. So we went back on the 1st of October at 6pm. Nanny came this time and your cousin Sophie again. Well waited to see you again. I drank a whole bottle of Fanta. As the lady said if you drink something fizzy you should wake up and make you a little hyperactive. We waited about 30 minutes to be seen. When we went into the scanner room, you're still breach. Got another six photos, but they're not perfect. But we can see your face, so I suppose that's the main thing there. Just a little blurry. You had either your hand or your foot by your face. Looks like you're poking yourself in the eye here. Your hand in your face. These are all six photos I had the second time I went. Had them all, I in black and white, the prince at the clinic, she sent me six, two second long videos that evening in colour. I had to save photos from them, continued in book number two, I love you. So that's the end of book number two. No, sorry, that's the end of book one we'll be continued in book two <laughs> i noticed i'd said um something about book two but obviously that was the end of book one so i'll be continuing obviously my next one i'll do on the memory book will be book two um Thank you so much for watching, like always. I appreciate it. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Like always, I appreciate you. Um, so that's the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully some proper content this week, as I haven't really done anything. I didn't really do anything 
last week to what I usually do. So fingers crossed. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to say. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, like I said <laughs> already. I feel like I'm seriously losing the plot today. <sighs> Start again. Okay, my loves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.